Hello there! I hope the year has begun well for you. Welcome to my channel, Techno Churchy, where I speak about technology in relation to church. Alright? But before we, we get into the first topic of the day, or rather the topic of today, hit that subscribe button, like the content, and don't forget to comment. And please, share with your media teams, share with your technical teams, share on your Facebook page abroad, share wide, wide, share, 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 share. share. Alright? Now let's dive into today's topic. Today's topic is the seven skills that a church technician should have. It's not a must that they have, have the, he, has, he or she has these skills, but these skills will make, put you on the, uh, slightly above, above others, Kidogo too, right? All right. Um, now the first skill is electrical skills. Most of you know that you can't run technology without electricity. So electrical skills are very important for any church technician. Know how to do a simple wiring, know how to replace a socket, know how to replace a switch, know the difference between voltage, current, and resistance. Know be the difference between industrial power rating and, and a domestic power rating. Know the difference between an AC power and a DC power. All right, just know the basics. You, you just need to know the, learn the basics because uh, some equipment will come rated 240, some 110, some are 12 volts. So you really need to have a, a rough idea of how electricity works, works and, and also how electrical appliances and, and uh, um, equipment work. All right? All right, the second one is computer skills. In the digital world, you, you, you will agree with me that you can't achieve much without computers all right computers is like a very fundamental part of um, technology in and outside the church and when i speak about uh, computer skills i'm not speaking about what typing a word document or editing a powerpoint document of course those are important but what i'm speaking about is understand the hardware part the hardware bit of a computer be able to repair and do basic repairs and maintenance uh, for computers know what a ram is what a processor is what a, a, a gpu is what a cpu is know what a, a computer case is know what uh, you get what i'm saying you get what i'm saying just know something just slightly beyond the the, the, the normal computer operations all right the third skill i would like to speak about is the networking skills we we understand that we are in the internet generation where almost everything is connected to internet understand how internet works understand how basic internet connections work understand how basic um a simple cat5 cable is made a cat6 cable the difference between a cat5 and a cat6 cable understand why it is one network is called a lan and the other one is called a one <laughs> or a vlan as some would would, would would call it Understand the difference between 10 Mbps, 5 Mbps. Understand the difference between down, what it means when, when we say downtime and, and, and these terminologies that we use. Understand between a switch, a router, a, uh, a, uh, uh, an access point. Understand the basic hardware and software when it comes to what? Networking and internet. All right? The fourth um, fundamental skill is the audio production skills. As a, as, a, as a church technician, most of the churches, as a matter of fact, this is the first skill that most churches look for when, when they're employing a technician. They want someone who is able to do sound. They'll always tell you, you're looking for a sound guy or a sound man. I'm a Jamawa sound. That is what they will tell you. But beyond that, there are, there, there are things you need to know. And in sound, not just sitting behind a mixer, all right? Know how to do a, a basic setup. Know how, how to, to read different ratings for different uh, uh, equipment or understand why that mix, uh, mixer or that amplifier cannot use 100, uh, 240 volts and but just 110 understand the fundamental things understand why we can't use um, um, a stereo uh, a stereo jack there and and why we need a mono jack here understand why why we do certain things in audio and audio, in under audio production also you need to understand the software bit of audio. Know how to record a simple audio. Know how to edit a simple audio. Know how to use a simple DAW. Yeah, uh, 
know how to to be able to 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 make an audio look good you get what i'm saying now with the world of of streaming the, with the church going online audio has become a very important more important part of of, of live stream all right so it is very important for you to know how to balance or balance the band uh, or rather the band mix balance balance the the vocal mix you get yeah make sure you get those skills try and improve in those skills the yeah. One, two, three, four. the fifth skill that i would like to speak about is video and photography skills most churches nowadays are not just uh, places where we come and we do sound we, for worship and sound for for prayers but we realize that churches have gone social uh, online as well with church going online a lot of videos and photography is consumed and as a matter of fact if your church is not online nowadays it's almost as if it does not exist because people expect to to, to as traveling still part of your church all right so knowing a few things about how to do video and photography is very important know know the difference between a, what a, a photography camera and a video camera is know the difference between um different resolutions of video uh, uh is know, know the difference between what a f uh, know what a frame rate is all right know the basics of what a camera has know what an iso is things like the f-stop know what uh, a white balance means all right at the end of the day you look professional so that you don't go into the field and you you carried a video camera to go take photos you will have burnt you will have burnt that thing seriously you will you have messed up seriously because sometimes you go out in the field it is a long distance from where your station is and you realize you've carried the wrong so you don't keep carrying the wrong equipment for the right job all right and the um the fifth skill that i would like to speak about is communication skill communication first of all i would like to speak about you understanding how to handle people how to talk to people whether they're your age mates or older than you or younger than you know how to treat people with dignity make them feel like they're part of the church that's what i'm trying to say make these people feel like they're part of the church all right don't make them feel like there's the media team or the media department and the church we are we are called to build the church which will help build the church maybe not physically but you see you, you get media and, and 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 technology has become like the engine of the church where the church for the church to move ahead the engine has to be properly uh, properly done all right so know how to speak to people make people feel like they're part of the of, of the media team even if they're not members of your team make them love the media team all right beyond all besides also um when it comes to communication since the church has moved online a lot you need to have some social media skills to run the church know how to run a facebook page know how to run a YouTube channel, know how to run a Twitter account, know how to run a, an Instagram account, and know how to, 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 to do posts that, that are, are, are look nice and good, all right? Don't just throw everything and anything onto the church page, all right? The last skill that I would like to speak about is music skills. When I say music skill, I'm not telling you to go be a music professor or a music producer while it, well if you can't do that that is added advantage to you but i'm speaking about basic music skills know the, the what musical inst different musical instruments are know what the difference between a keyboard and a piano you don't need to go to school to know that know the difference between what a lead guitar is an acoustic guitar um and a, a bass guitar is know the difference different types of percussions know the different types of brasses know what a note a, uh, a, a, a chord is and an octave is all right know the different parts of music of, of a song so that when you are mixing you mix things uh, with skill all right so that you don't mix a, a lead guitar like you'd like you'd mix a, a bass guitar I encourage you to just learn some basics so that when someone is singing off you understand why your mix is not sounding good you get it's because someone is saying 
is singing off or a guitar is, is not properly connected. You know why you are not getting that signal because it is not properly tuned. So those are the seven skills that I would love uh, to encourage every church technician to have. While it is not necessary to have all of them, but a rough idea of what they entail will put you above the rest. Try to learn these basic things so that you look more professional. Above all, since you work in the church, it is very important to learn the scripture. It, it, it is an added age to you as, as a technician because you are in the church. You need to learn what the church believes in, what the scripture. Uh, you need to know the scripture, especially for when, when it comes to visual part of, 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 of media, things like projection, things like when you're adding lower thirds into your videos. You need to know scripture and where they are so that when they ask for Holy Communion scripture, you don't look for it in the book of Habakkuk or in the book of Ruth. You get? So, those are the seven skills. Otherwise, my name is Hansel, Hansel Oyango. Um, I'm a technician by, by, by profession. And those are the skills that I would encourage you to have. Subscribe to the channel, like the content, and above all, share the content with your teams. Otherwise, for me, I'm out. Thank <laughs> you.